Hi, Dan. Well, having North Koreans here in the South for the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics obviously cost some money. And South Korea has officially decided to foot the bill to the tune of more than two and a half million dollars. The money will come from a fund set aside for inter-Korean cooperation. Our Ji Myung Gil explains. The South Korean government has approved a budget worth 2.6 million U.S. dollars to cover expenses incurred by the North Korean delegation sent to Pyeongchang. The expense include accommodation costing $1 million, ticket fees at $930,000, transportation costs of over $90,000, and so on. The South and North Exchange and Cooperation Promotion Council under South Korea's Unification Ministry and headed by Unification Minister Cho myung yoon held a meeting on Wednesday to deliberate on a motion to use money from this year's Inter-Korean Cooperation Fund. Through the Pyeongchang Olympics, North Korea had the chance to communicate with the international community and promote peace on the Korean Peninsula. Besides Olympic athletes and high-level officials, Pyongyang sent hundreds of North Koreans to South Korea, including cheerleaders, orchestra members and musicians, members of a taekwondo demonstration team and journalists. The South Korean government plans to hold another meeting concerning the participation of North Korea with a delegation of roughly 150 members at the Pyeongchang Paralympics to kick off in March. During a high-level meeting early last month, the two Koreas agreed that Seoul will provide convenience for the North Koreans attending the Olympics. This wouldn't be the first time for South Korea to bankroll the regime's participation at an international event, as Seoul previously bankrolled millions of dollars for North Korean participants during the Asian Games and the Summer Universiad held in South Korea. Shim Young-gil, Arirang News.